let's give this video a second try. I've already tried recording this video once and for some reason something happened. I even edited it and exported it and posted it and it just something messed up. So we're gonna give it another try. These are my fall decorations. Yes, I know it's August and yes, I know I'm crazy, but fall is my favorite time of the year. So I have done fall decorations. I'm gonna start at the front door cause that's where I'm at. So let's just get on into it. Fall decorations. Ooh, look, there's a spider. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <coughs> just hanging out. Um, so for my fall decorations, I do not have pumpkins yet or gourds, and I normally have those, um, but it's August, so I don't have them yet, so there's no gourds or anything around my fake hay. Just my scarecrow and my fake hay and then my sign, which all got at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. That's why he's back. Um, also... Please note that I actually currently, actually currently, yeah, mm -hmm, that's how it goes. I um, have not put up my um, burlap. <laughs> it took me a minute to think about it. I haven't put up my burlap yet um, because it's in Christmas boxes because I use burlap during Christmas time as well. And I did not want to uh, dig through the Christmas boxes. So this is a rather tattered right now. I need to update it. Fall wreath. Sometimes we use this wreath year round that I created several years ago. And it's currently on the front door. I do need to create a new one. For sure. the inside. This is my fall wreath that I made several years ago. I sometimes have it on the outside of the door, sometimes have it on the inside of the door. It really just depends on how the weather is because it's still pretty hot outside. I do not have it outside. I have it inside. For the table right by my front door, I have, um, I changed my Scentsy candle to a little kind of wickery looking thing. I've got a pumpkin tray sometimes we have candy in here these wine uh, bottles with tw with um, twine around them I actually keep their year round but they do have a very fall theme to them or country weddingness weddingish why can't I speak today <laughs> our M stays there too and then I've got this uh, vase that I just put shimmery pumpkins in and tied a brown ribbon around I created this ball with a balloon and blew it up and used some Maj Paj and twine. And then our fall leaves in a vase. So I also created this. Um, normally I have a fall leaves background for the fall, but I haven't put that in there yet. But the good thing about the regular background we use, it is kind of a year round type of image. And I made that. This thing I wanted to show you was my dining room table. We are only showing you this half of it because the other end's got my purse and the kids' back to school stuff on it. Right now, since they're, they had a half a day today and the first full day is the next, not tomorrow, but the next day. I don't know why they do that. So these are actually um, just the, the placemats and the runner. I actually got a Walmart, which is crazy. Um, I got the flowers and the vase. I created this. I bought them all separately and put them together. And those came from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure the little scale crow came from Hobby Lobby. Along with this little pumpkin. This pumpkin is a Scentsy burner that I broke literally the day I got it. There's no little burner piece in there. And I could not find a replacement. So it's decor. As this is a fall video, I also wanted to mention the new fall candles that I purchased from Bath & Body Works and they smell absolutely amazing. In this vase, and it is a vase that flowers came in from my husband at one point, I just have some more of those sparkly pumpkins, some orange ribbon, and a couple of leaves that fell off of one of my um, little leaves decorations, so I wanted to utilize those and not waste them. So 
I'm going to turn the camera around on me and go over the leaves candles. Hey guys, so I know you can um, see this stuff on my dining room table right there. Um, that's why I didn't show you the table. I know it's not like tremendously messy, but at the same time, I just didn't want it to be on the screen. So I'm going over the leaves candle from Bath and Body Works. Mm, it smells so good. So the candles, my husband purchased them online um, last weekend. They were two for twenty four fifty or something like that. And then he had a $10 off a $30 purchase. So I think he ended up spending like $49 or something like that. Yeah, a lot of guessing work here. <laughs> but this candle has been one of our favorite scents for a very long time. Since I'm allergic to cinnamon, I can't have, let's see, this one has crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. I can't have overpowering cinnamon smells because they um, will give me a migraine. This one has like maybe a hint of cinnamon, but for the most part, it just smells like the autumn air or the winter air, not winter, fall, obviously. But it has probably my favorite fall scent. I normally get wallflowers in these and plug them. If you don't know what wallflowers is, it's like these little bulbs, like about this big, that have um, the oils, that the same smells from the fragrance, from the candles, but in an oil. And you put it in, you screw it into the wall and you plug it in and they just smell so good. Um, I haven't bought any of those yet, but I will because we're almost out of wallflowers and the last ones I bought were kind of like a cross between summer fading into fall. So they're not like really, really fall scented. Um, but the candles are, and if you saw my most recent shopping haul video and saw that I bought a bunch of scentsies, so I have several, several scentsy scents that are going to be used soon. I used, I've used two little waxes of one, but the rest of them will be used soon. Once the smell of the other ones fade, because I had literally just put new scentsies in a week before I bought, I bought those, so... I don't want to waste them because they're expensive. So let all of those smells go away and then I'll replace it with the fall ones. And that will probably be in another week or so. So we're right on schedule because today is August 6th. <laughs> um, so let's carry on with the tour of my fall decorations. And yeah, I'm now cool. at my um, living room table here. This is just an orangish, reddish bowl that I found. You can use it in Christmas time too, which we do. I have pine cones that have some white spray paint on them to kind of look like snowy pine cones. And I put those in here. But right now we have pine cones and some gourds and some leaves. And those are real leaves. And they have a very, 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 very slight cinnamon scent to them. Um, what I did is I couldn't find all this stuff together that didn't smell like cinnamon. So I went ahead and bought the cinnamon ones a couple of years ago. And I just kind of sprayed them down with water to dilute the cinnamon smell. Since, again, I am allergic to cinnamon. Thing are these two pumpkins, the two orange ones I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this center white one is actually from Bath & Body Works from years ago. And I believe... Nah, I don't know. I, I thought it was a cinnamon scent, but when I opened it, it just kind of smelled like uh, it had been boxed up for a while. So, maybe not. So, I literally put those in the center. I normally have some picture frames there, so you see a line of picture frames. And also, I normally, during fall time, I remove, I remove, um, where's my finger? Uh, there we go. I remove these and have more decorations, but this year I just did them here. And then you see the leaves up here going all the way across. All right, for the fireplace, and there's sun coming in the window, so it looks a little weird. You've got right here a woman, a female scarecrow, and right here on the other side, a male sca scarecrow with a little pumpkin that has M on it for our last name. And we keep those wicker baskets there year round. 
they just have some blankets to keep warm because it, it, we have vaulted ceilings, so it does get a little cool in here. Up top, uh, uh, up top, you see, um, so on the far end with those three candle jars, those are, can potentially be fallish, but not exactly, and those stay there year round too. They are from, um, they're, the vases are from our wedding, but, and the candles are, but I created those later on and put those up there. Now the tall skinny vases are from our wedding and I've just got like long twigs in it. And then you see the burlap pumpkins and the leaves. And then the painting in the center, we change out seasonally. And then over here in the corner, are some um, gold flake mason jars and twigs with wicker or twig balls on them. I made the mason jars. And then if you come down here slowly, this thing, um, and this is a tall vase. Hey, there's a scentsy uh, wallflower that I was speaking of. It's um, something I recently added to our decor and is just like a twiny vase with twigs that light up. Give me a, just a second, I'll so turn So that's what they look like with them on. They, I order those on Hobby Lobby's website and they came, or it might've been Amazon. They came a whole lot bigger than I thought. I should have read the description better. I was hoping for some small ones I could put up here in with those, but they weren't, so. They are now next to the fireplace. We have a slide table. So if you've recently watched a video of me creating some mason jars, I had some leftover leaves that I pulled off. And what I did with them is I took a vase, put some burlap around it, and then just kind of shoved the leaves in there. And that's this. We then have a little floral or, or floral arrangement that have fall colors. My husband usually takes that to work. And directly behind it are three twine um, wine bottles that I created. So I'm gonna turn this around and go over this The candle. sweater weather candle, which is right here, has a more fresh air, crispy, clean, fall scent. So the leaves taste like very, or taste, smell very much like fall. This one has a much cleaner scent. Where it's almost transitioning into, no, I wouldn't say winter. Like maybe the first nights of fall. Like when you first get the first fragrance of fall coming along. But it's clean and cool and I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Let me tell you what's in it. We've got fresh sage, juniper berry. Mmm, juniper berry. I love it. Um, eucalyptus, which would give you that fresh scent, and fresh woods. So when I say fresh, I mean fresh. It smells very wonderful. So I'm not showing you the whole table because, first of all, these need to be cleaned and the kids just ate, but these are placemats on the regular dining room table. To go over the next candle that we purchased, it's inside this. So I bought this leaves um, candle holder at Bath and Body Works a couple of years ago. The candle inside is called flannel. Ooh. So I just took it out. Here's what it looks like. It smells kind of like a man. It's got fresh bergamot, which you totally smell, smell the bergamot. Heirloom mahogany, you totally smell that mahogany. Soft musk with essential oils. I smell all of that. It smells really, really good. And it's not too manly, but it's definitely got a bit of a man, manly scent to so it. So if you watched my DIY video on how to make these, you will have already known that I made these. These are brand new to my collection this year because I made them. They are just some fall leaves sitting on the bar in my kitchen. And next to that is 
another candle that we'll go over. Don't mind the office stuff back here, and we're gonna go over that little wreath right there. It's there instead of on the window because I cannot find the suction cup. So the last candle I will go over is caramel apple. It has Granny Smith apple slices, warm golden caramel, and cinnamon vanilla cream. Like I said, I cannot have anything that's overpowering with cinnamon, so this is a light cinnamon scent that does not hurt my nose or my head. It is very caramelly. That's a word. You smell the vanilla in it. Um, you smell the apples in it, and I don't really, I hardly smell the cinnamon. It's really good out of the four. It's not my favorite. I mean, it still smells really, really good, but out of the four that I've shown you, it's not my favorite. My favorite is leaves followed by flannel and then sweater weather. I don't know. I think flannel and sweater weather are probably tied for second. And then this one. Um, so that's the candle and these candles run a 2450. So I think it was, um, either buy two, get two free, or buy one for 20, 24, 20, 24, 50, and get the, get one for free. Either way, it works out the same. And then he had a $10 off a $30 purchase. So yeah, he ran about, I think he said it was $49 after shipping and everything. So last thing we're gonna do is this little guy right over here. I'll take you to I it. I made this wreath several years ago, and it's usually on the front door, but. I thought I would put it on the back door. I can't seem to find my um, suction cup. Don't know what happened to it. So for now, it is here until we find a spot. Well, that concludes it. my fall tour of my decorations. Because fall is my favorite season, I tend to already have a lot of fallish, fall like items already throughout the house. I just kind of amplify it with some more stuff um, during fall. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a good thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that little red button below and subscribe. And uh, if you would like to be notified when I upload a video, which right now is two to three times a week, uh, hit that little bell icon. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.